this is a problem using work energy but there's something really different here and I'm gonna do this uh, look at this situation in two different ways uh, using a real system versus a point particle system uh, now let me say that this way of thinking about work energy is super powerful and super important a lot of textbooks kinda of gloss over this I think uh, Bruce Sherwood and Bruce Chabay's Matter and Interactions textbook does this the best. It's the best physics textbook out there. You should get that best physics textbook out there. Introductory. Okay, so let's get started with this particular problem. I have, and this problem is based on something from the book, but uh, I picked my own values and everything like that. So I have an ice skater right here, uh, and on ice skates, there's no friction, standing next to a wall and she pushes with her arms straight out so that she slides away. So her arms extend over distance d, which I didn't draw quite right, and there she is a little bit later moving at some velocity v2. And, and so the question is, what's the force that, the, uh, that, the, the, that she pushes with the wall, on the wall? What's f? Okay, so let's start off with the real system. When if I use the work energy principle, it says the work is the change in energy uh, and work is defined as F dot delta R. Uh, so that's the dot product. The force is a vector. Delta R is a displacement vector. Uh, and work is, is work. Uh, if, if the force is not constant, then you have to do an integral. But let's just assume that the force is constant right here. Now for change in energy, we can have different types of energy. Uh, we can have kinetic energy. Uh, we could have you know thermal energy. Uh, we could have uh, potential energy, uh, but let's just stick with kinetic energy for right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is say what my system is. Let's say my system is the real skater. So I can calculate the work. So in this case, there's actually three forces on the skater. I'm going to draw it over here. Here's my skater as she's pushing away. So I have the downward gravitational force. I have the upward normal force from the, the ice. And then I have the force of the wall pushing on her this way. Those are the forces on her, F wall. Yeah. So uh, let's calculate the work done by all these forces. So the work is going to be N dot delta R N plus mg dot delta r mg plus fw delta r w and so I have to do displacement for each force because they could move different amounts right in this case here is my delta r for my center of mass like that so let's say delta r center of mass is going to be equal to um, actually d zero zero that's how far she moved if that's the x direction so if I look at the gravitational force the gravitational force is always pulling on her so the work done by the gravitational force let's just say uh, mg dot delta r mg is going to be equal to the vector mg dot this so let's just write that out as zero negative mg zero dot d zero zero because that's how far the displacement moved so in the dot product I take the x components multiplied by each other so I have d times zero minus mg times zero plus zero times zero equals zero so there's no work done by that and you could also say well the gravitational force is perpendicular to the displacement that's why there's no work done okay I'm just trying to be thorough here I'm just trying to cover all the bases now what about the normal force it's the same deal right because the normal force is in the y direction the displacements in the x direction so there's no work done by that so this is going to be zero this is going to be zero But what about that so now this is a little bit different because the force from the wall is right here and the person moves over there but the force doesn't change the, the displacement of the force is zero. So delta R wall equals zero, zero, zero. So if I take the force from the wall, I can say F wall dot delta R is going to be the force from the wall, which is F zero, zero 
dot zero 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 equals surprisingly zero zero joules so there's no work done on the system okay fine then what's the change in energy let's say I say uh, zero work is a change in kinetic energy but the change in kinetic energy is not zero right because it's she starts at rest but she ends up with some velocity 0.8 meters per second with a mass right here of 70 kilograms so it's going to be zero equals the final kinetic energy one half m v2 squared I'll calculate that in a second minus initial kinetic energy of zero that can't be true so there has to be some other term in there and I can add in here plus delta e internal so there's some change in internal energy because she's using her muscles she ate food it stores chemical energy in her system some biological way and then when she when she increases her own kinetic energy it comes from herself the wall doesn't do work on her if she's a system the the net change in energy of the whole system is zero because there's nothing doing work on her the, the you don't get any energy from the wall okay so in this case I could say Delta E internal equals one half M V two squared and I'm not even gonna put a number in there because it's whatever that number is it doesn't really matter I really want to find that force okay but I can't find the force using the real system because in the work energy principle the force from the wall doesn't do any work it doesn't show up in the system so let's do a point particle system we're going to do the same thing for the difference between a real and a point particle system so in a real system I have work equals F dot delta R F it, whatever that however far that force moves is the work and that's going to be the change in kinetic energy plus change in other energies if I have a point particle system a PPS then I have work equals F dot Delta R center of mass even if the force doesn't actually move that way I'm gonna say that it does however doing that I only have a change in kinetic energy I can't have any other types of energy because I'm assuming the system is a point and that's what we're gonna do right here so um, I again have uh, I can calculate the work so Delta R center of mass is gonna be D zero zero F of from the wall is going to be uh, F wall zero zero I do need to consider the work done by the gravity and the uh, normal force but again they're zero because they're perpendicular so let's just leave those out so now I can say F wall dot Delta R center of mass equals uh, D times FW plus zero times zero plus zero times zero and that's going to be equal to the change in kinetic energy one half m v two squared minus one half m v one squared but the initial velocity is zero so now I can solve this for v two I'm going to multiply both sides by two and I get two d f w oh I'm sorry I want to solve this for f w I know the velocity I'm going to solve this for the the force of the wall f w equals m v2 squared over 2d and let's put that in our calculator so I have the mass of 70 and leave off the units velocity of 0.8 squared over 2 times what did I say 0.6 I'll put that in my handy dandy calculator let's see if it turns on oh, I did turn on okay so I get up oh, it didn't turn on let's see push that down there we go okay 70 enter 0.8 squared times 2 divided by 0.6 divided by I get 37.33 newtons so that's the work done by the wall okay that's how you can see the difference in the point particle and the real system um, just as a quick note what if I why did I not use the momentum principle so why did I not say F net equals delta P over delta T in fact I could do that but the problem is I actually don't know the time so it's hard to use the change in momentum it's not impossible okay it's just a little bit more tricky um, 
I'm not going to do that. I'll let you do that because I really want to focus just on, on the difference between the real and the point particle system. And now we can use this to do some more complicated problems. Uh, but you always want to think, the first thing when you do, when you write down this, work is a change in energy, you pick your system. okay? And you have to say whether it's the real or point particle system too because that does matter about how you calculate the work.